Hello everybody, Mark here at 100% Pure Alvis. Thank you for taking the time out to return to the channel today and I hope this all sees you well and I hope you've had a pleasant day wherever you are in the world. Now I'm continuing my review of each and every Alvis Presley album he released throughout his career, including the soundtrack albums. So on this upload today, I am reviewing the album that was released in 1961, which was Alvis Presley's sixth studio album release. And it is the great album, Something for Everybody. And as you can see, this in front of me is the original album from 1961 and it is in mono and i absolutely love the front cover there i think it's very different at the time i love the stylization of the alvis writing here and the stylization here and the image that was chosen of alvis uh, again is that from around the time he was filming wild in the country i'm not overly too sure it certainly looks like it now the catalog number for the original 1961 release is rd27224 rd27224 and on the reverse of the original 1961 release you've got images an image here from the movie wild in the country and uh, something for everybody elvis presley and here it tells you all about Alvis's influence in the music world here with the track listing down below. And I just want to talk you through the track listing on something for everybody. And also what I like about something for everybody. So side one, they call it the ballad side. And side two, they call it the rhythm side. Now on side one, we have There's Always Me. Give me the right. It's a sin. Sentimental me. Starting today. Gently. Now on side one, I'm going to have to go for, I love gently. I absolutely adore that song. Sentimental me is a great song as well. And there's always me. But side one, I just love every single track. Side two, as I was saying, is the rhythm side. I'm coming home. In your arms, put the blame on me. I want you with me. I slipped, I stumbled, I fell, which is from the movie World in the Country. Now, I love I'm Coming Home, put the, but my favourite on side two would have to be In Your Arms. Great dancing song, that is. And again, in 1961, when this was released, it spent 18 weeks in the UK albums chart with a peak of number two. And again, this album performed really well on both sides of the Atlantic for Alvis. And again, for me, at that time, he was mainly a motion picture star doing the movies, releasing the soundtracks. And again, but this album did not get lost in regards to uh, his releases of that time because his soundtrack albums in the early 1960s and the late 50s going into the mid 60s did really well on both sides of the Atlantic but going into the middle and later 60s his soundtrack albums wasn't performing as well so in 1961 when this was released again with his soundtrack albums that was being released around at the same time as well it performed really well and again I'd, again, I just love the stylization of the album from 1961. So let me share with you the record inside. Again, it comes with its original protective sleeve inside. And again, let me get out the vinyl. And again, for its age, it is in such good condition. So I mean... And it's on the black and silver RCA Victor label there. And again, when I choose to listen to an Elvis Presley album, something for everybody, I do listen to it quite often. Um, it's an album I would say I listen to more frequently from the 1960s, from his studio albums at least. So 
I absolutely love the album Something for Everybody. And I'm now going to talk about if I had to have a favorite song off the album, I'm going to go for In Your Arms on side B. So that is the original 1961 release of Something for Everybody. I've also got it on a re release. And again, the re release is from 2014. It's on the Wax Time label. Exactly the same front cover. Well, let me, I think it is. Let me just get the original. No, I'm really sorry it's not. As you can see, slightly different with the Alvis at the top on the original, uh, on the reissue and at the bottom on the original. Sorry, I hope you can see that. Okay. So on the reissue, slight, very different here. Same image though, and this is the same as well. And it's on 180 gram heavyweight vinyl. On the reverse, again, very, very different indeed. It gives you in text here a complete rundown on the album, something for everybody. Get closer in there. And here it is sharing with you little sister and other Elvis images. Again, I don't know when that image was taken. It must have been around. See, to me, it looks like a, a, a 1962 image, if I, if I, in my personal opinion. As I was saying, it's on the Wax Time label. And again, there is bonus tracks on the reissue. We have on side one, there's always me, give me the right, it's a sin, sentimental me, starting today gently. The bonus track on side one is I feel so bad. Side two, I'm coming home in your arms, put the blame on me. Judy, I want you with me. I slipped, I stumbled, I fell. And the bonus track on side two is Little Sister. So again, this is the reissue. And this is the original. So let me share with you the vinyl inside. Again, just in its white sleeve. As I said, it's a heavyweight vinyl. So the vinyl is quite heavy. And there you go. It's just like a, a green and pinkish middle there on the wax time label. I will buy a reissue if I think it adds to my collection. And again, I remember I did purchase this way back in 2014. And again, thoroughly enjoyed listening to it. Try and get this sleeve back in as best I can, really. Right, that's that. And then lastly, I own it on CD as well from... The, this, the CD was issued, I think it was the late 80s, early 1990s. So this is the CD that I own of Something for Everybody. Again, this is the same front cover as the original vinyl release. On the back, it's just got your track listing. I don't need to go through that again for you. Inside. So there you go, the CD and the book, the booklet here, which I will show you now. Once I get it out, well, here we go. And this folds out. So there you go. That's this image from Wild in the Country. And then you open it out. And these are the lyrics. What a great touch. So, again, this is the CD release of Something for Everybody. There you go. And as I was saying, Something for Everybody reached a peak of number two on the UK Albums Charts in 1961 and spent 18 weeks in the UK charts. And for me... Get the original back up. Something for everybody. 
is a great studio album from 1961. Again, I think RCA did a great release with this, with it being Elvis Presley's sixth studio album release at the time, and it performed really well on both sides of the Atlantic. So when you listen to something for everybody, do you have a favourite from the album itself? You know, and again, is it an album you listen to frequently? Again, I know there is many albums in Elvis's vast catalogue of music and something for everybody. When I choose to listen to a studio album from the 1960s, something for everybody is probably one of the ones that I listen to the most. So again, before I sign out, we have the original 1961 something for everybody and i'm gonna say you're looking at around again 20 30 40 pound you've got the reissue from 2014 uh i think this is possibly around 20 pound if you can still i think you can possibly still get a hold of this and then this cd these are rare because this cd is like from the late 80s, early 1990s, I believe. I'm, I'm going to guess around like £20 again. And so that is my review of the album from 1961, Something for Everybody, which I thoroughly enjoy listening to. So again, before I sign out, I look forward to reading your comments below on this great album from 1961. As always, Please keep Elvis close to your hearts. Please keep him playing his music. Lots of love, everybody. Speak soon. Bye-bye.